Yeah. What's going on, guys? It's your man, Big Vad, your Rock Arazzi, media ambassador. Rock One Radio, Rock One Press. We are your number one networking tool for the media, and uh, we are in a secluded place. I'm not going to tell you where we are, you know what I'm saying? Because this is, yo, my man CP Charm hooked us up, and we're going to leave it like that. I got to do these interviews, and I'm going to knock them out one, two, three, because this is what I do. You dig? So I'm with a dope artist. Um, she does a lot of things. She's a model, she's an artist, she's a singer. Uh, she even dances as well. She was doing her thing on the stage. In fact, I'm going to put some footage of that during this interview as well, of her dancing. And you know what I'm saying she does a thing. Um, um, I'm going to let her introduce herself to y'all. Just, just in case you guys aren't familiar, you know what I'm saying? Let's get familiar. So go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Sure, sure. But before anything, thank you so much. It was a pleasure as always. Um, so definitely. Uh, so my artist name is Vero G. And um, as you mentioned before, I um, am a model, actress, oh God, poet, screenwriter, Host, I, I do a little bit of everything I can, but overall, I just love what I do, and I have a great time. Overall, I love you guys and everything else all together. Yeah, I gotta say, like her, her spirit is so bubbly, and 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 on our way to this location, it's been nothing but laughter, laughter, <laughs> and then a little bit more laughter. You know what I'm saying? And it's just nothing but positive vibes. So I want to thank you for that, man. Um, uh, let, let's, let's, let, let's give the people a little bit of backstory. How did you get into, I guess, since you do so much, how did you get into entertainment? Wow, that's a long story. Um, but so, so, so let's keep it the, the short bio version. Okay, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, because it'd be all night. Um, so basically, overall, I, since I'm like age of seven years old, I always had a passion for music. Right. And um, I would say overall, um, my parents really influenced me to do what I had to do with inspiration and stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely. So, so your family pushed you? Yeah, pretty much. They, they motivated said, listen, if you got something in this world, go for it. Why not? Right, right. So from that time point on, I realized, okay, I have a gift, and I'm going to pursue one in, for music. So um, I was in junior high school. I went to school choir. I did that. Then later on in life, um, things happened, you know personal issues yeah. and um, I had my son and then eventually I started to go back to the music career and I worked as the one time I actually was a choir member for Change Choir for Al Sharpton. Mm. So um, it was a really good, wow. yeah, really good experience. I had a great time, had, you know, it didn't work out fortunately because I was going to school at the time. Okay. So um, eventually I left that and um, I finished my schooling and then uh, I came back to the music career. Everything was about music, it was still drawing me back to it. Everything revolved. Pretty much. It was a cycle. <laughs> Yo, real quick. Get your education. Education is important. Kids, go to school. You know what I'm saying? Get your education. Go ahead. Of course, definitely right. Yeah, so basically I went back to school after that, you know, from college and everything, and then um, music was still there. So I eventually decided to do more songwriting and then started to network with people, go to events, casting calls uh, for everything, and then overall just going to open mics, showcases, right, right, right. and the rest is history. Yeah. You're talking, you talking artists, you're talking actress, you're talking poet. You know what I'm saying? You're talking a uh, 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 singer, songwriter, dancer. Damn, yo, I ran out of fingers. <laughs> Damn it. And beyond. We're just going to say and beyond. And, and, and that's what it is. So, so um, what's going on now? Um, tell the people what's going on. Do you have any compilations out? What's going on now with your whole career? Sure, sure, definitely. So what I'm doing right now as we speak, uh, I just pushed out two albums. One is a Christmas album, of course, a Christmas time of Vero G. A Christmas album? Yes, yes. Yo, you don't you don't see a lot of those, man. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, man. I've been pushing it out for two years now with um my music mentor, mentor slash music producer, Cool Breeze. Um, really a big shout out to him as well. Um, we definitely and he we did the other album, debut album called Trials and Tribulations. Um, so that consists of thirteen songs. Um, I did three collaborations song, uh, with that album itself with um artists as Dirty Premessa, Cool Breeze, and also um Truth Be Told. So really great, you know, work with everybody I did with the album and um. Okay. Overall, overall, everything else I done. Uh, I actually have published ten our poetry books as we speak right now. Also, I have my autobiography is called an autobiography, um, Trust and Tribulations, an autobiography of Roji. So that's out already. Um, yeah, so what would you say that was? It's a, a autobiography. It's yeah. Is so, it like a auto? It's an audio version, or is it a book? Or book, 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 book. yeah, book. That auto, audio before. So you're an author as well. Yes, yes, yes. Shoot. <laughs> I see. I couldn't continue because I ran out of fingers, <laughs> and this is the reason why. She's also an author. See, you was holding out on me, but, but, but it's cool. But this is why I interview, because you find out things that you don't, that, that's not said until later. She's an author as well. That's what's up. That's what's up. Damn, you do a lot. Shit. I try a little bit. I try. I do try. I do try. But it's, it's just working and what you're doing. Love. Have, a, have a good time. So, so let, let's, let, let's go back to the music real quick. So you said you got a Christmas album out and you have an actual album out. Let's talk about that album. So when people hear the album, what are they gonna get from the album? 
Wow. Um, basically, it's going through my past with, you know, overall all my life from mm -hmm. childhood to now. Yeah. And, um, you know, trials and tribulations, things that you've gone through. Life experience. Pretty much so, yeah. Life experiences. And um, basically, it's just, it's a little bit of genre of um, R&B, hip-hop, bachata, reggae. It's a little bit of blend of everything, music-wise. Right. Yeah. It's a whole mixture. So, so for all my brothers and sisters that's into the Spanish music, you know, the hip hop music, the R&B, like, you know what I mean? You, you, y'all gonna rock to this regardless, cause it's good. It's good music. It's all types, and she's basically giving y'all all types of flavor. All right, that's what's up. And then the Christmas album, I mean, it's self-explanatory. If you're into Christmas stuff, then you're definitely going to rock with it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, where can they get these uh, uh, albums out? Now? You're sure. So if they want to, um, unfortunately, it's not right now out in stores. Okay. So if they do want to get a hold of me, I have actually copies of me, um, oh, okay. on me. So if they want to email me, um, my email is vero2884 at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. And they could contact me there. And then I could just make the orders for them and, yeah, send it out to them. Yeah. That's what it is. She, yo, that's some old school shit right there. She popping them out the trunk. <laughs> that's some joint where you hear like Master P, you know what I'm saying? Popping them out the trunk like, yo, come through, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So we got the music popping. Go check that out. Hit her up for that. You know, she's seeing you the copies and all that support. Um, anything coming up as far as your acting career? Um, for acting wise, it's kind of like in the moment and hiatus. But I um, recently did I do a cameo, you could say, uh, I did have to, it's a web series. I don't know the name right now, Tom, but I know our director is uh, Timothy Wright. Okay. And uh, damn, I forgot the name of the show. But anything, I'll just let you guys know down the line yeah, for next time. That's right, that's cool, that's yeah, cool. definitely. So check her out. You know, check her out in the movies and all that stuff. She does her thing. Um, I gotta say, you, you, you being, you are a great performer. You, 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 you go out of your way to make sure that everybody is a part of your performance. I'm talking about she goes out of her way to, to, to bring the audience into, when, when, into her when she performs. She gets the people part, to, to participate. She gets people to jump up on stage and dance with her. <laughs> um, big shout out to my homegirl Jules of Federal District. She jumped up on stage uh, during uh, the, uh, the Blaze the Stage uh, 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 show that just went down a couple of weeks ago. Uh, when she was performing, she asked people to jump up on stage. Jules actually jumped up on stage. They started uh, da uh, dancing. Uh, she actually was doing a, 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 a bachata record. Yeah, bachata, yeah, yeah. All right, I hope I said that right. Yeah, that um, right. All right, cool, because, you know what I mean? I'll be crazy with the Spanish. But, 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 but yeah, so she's doing a, a bachata record, and uh, she's asking people to jump up on stage to dance with her. And she happened to jump up on stage. She got down. She was getting funky in the Spanish. It was crazy. So shout out to her. She's a very good performer. You do your thing when you perform. Um, that's what's up, man. Um, what are things that we could look forward to in this year, 2018? Wow. Um, that's a lot. That's a good question, actually. Um, goals. Okay, definitely. My goals for this year definitely is to make another album yeah. and um, definitely work on more of my poetry collections. Oh my and um, maybe, uh, actually, as we speak right now, I should do, do two scripts of mine. Um, yeah, movie scripts. So I'm definitely trying to push at least one of them out, hopefully. So you're about to be a director? Well... If 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 there anything, I would love to. Oh, you're a writer, a screenwriter. A screen more of a screenwriter. Oh, okay, but okay, if okay. if they gave me the position, listen, I don't mind. Hey, boo -boo. She, she ready to jump on any position. <laughs> trying to tell you, man. She 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 trying to grab all the opportunities. <laughs> I'm not even mad at you. That's what's up. Oh, I appreciate that. That's what's up. Um, last couple of questions. Um, obviously you've been. This has been a long road for you. Yeah. So you've been. You had your ups. You had your downs. You had your crazy situations um, and all that stuff. It's, as far as in entertainment, I say entertainment because you do so much. You know what I'm saying? So get some advice to those that might be having a little bit of struggles, you know, uh, writing that script or getting up on stage to get the crowd involved, uh, getting into the studio, getting the confidence as a woman in entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Give some advice to those that might be watching right now. Sure, definitely. So those who are just tuning into this video right now and this interview, the best thing I could tell you is, as for advice, uh, especially for Latina and a woman, especially in this industry, the best thing I could tell you is stay positive, stay humble, stay grounded, work hard, don't let nobody tell you no because that should be your motivation to actually keep going on and working harder on yourself and your craft. And at the end of the day, do what makes you happy. If it's your passion, if even though you have a side job, and at the end of the day, this is what you want to do, just keep working hard on it. No matter what, even though you have your down days, we all have it. But at the end of the day, you're going to... You're going to rise. You're going to rise and you keep staying forward and stay focused. That's all it is I can tell you guys. Dropping that positive science. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Um, v, tell, tell them where they can follow you, your Instagram, your Twitter. Drop where people could check you out. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so guys, if you want to check out my stuff, uh, follow, add all that good stuff. I'll do the same back. My YouTube channel is VERO2884. My SoundCloud, I'll spell it out for you guys. 
V-E-R-O-N-I-C-A-G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-Z-11. I I know it's long. Forgive me. (laughs) It sounds like a password. (laughs) Right? Uh, Exactly. Um, My Reverb Nation page is Vero G. My Facebook artist page is Vero G. My Twitter is V-E-R-O-2884. My IG is D, Diva, I'll just spell it out, Diva and Diamonds, D-I-V-A, the letter N behind that, Diamonds, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. Also, if you want to book me for any upcoming shows, gigs, all that good stuff, you could contact me at my email, which is V-E-R-O-2884 at Yahoo.com. Yeah. And always believe in yourself. <laughs> See how she snuck the last one in, right? Like, that was mad quick, too. Like, after, after the plugs, it's like, yo, by the way. Don't forget to believe in yourself. I'm not even mad at that. That's what I'm talking about. Um, last words, um, last shout outs. Sure. Oh, that's that's my best one. Okay. Before anything, big shout out to you. Big shout out to you. Because I see you doing your thing too as well. So I do my thing. <laughs> I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what I do. Like, but it's not about me. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I had a moment. <laughs> um, so big shout out to CP Charm, to all you guys. Um, my awesome fans, my supporters, Cool Breeze. My, my family that have been always supporting me and what I do, and I appreciate you guys. Um, it's too many people I could right now shout out. But overall, anybody that worked with me in the past or I'm working with now, I just want to thank each one of you guys because you are inspiring me to what I'm doing right now as we speak. And just keep working on what you're doing for anybody that's watching this again. Just keep working on you. Work on your craft. Don't let nobody tell you anything different because at the end of the day, it's all about you and what you got to grow and show others to inspire as well. Yeah. And, and, and on that note, like I was telling CP Charm during his interview, Everybody, she's shouting out everybody. It don't think you got left out. I don't, you know, no, no, no. Don't send a no. Don't send a no hate mail. Don't send a no hate text. Why you forgot about me? Oh, what about me? What about my son? What about my cat? No. Everybody, everybody was cool. Was cool. Everybody, I'm just saying, shout out everybody. If you're watching this right now, shout out to you. Appreciate everybody, and that's what it is. Um, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, you know what time it is, man. It's your man, Big Veg. You're Rock Karate, Media Ambassador, Rock Winner Radio, Rock Winner Press. We are your number one number two for the media. Got more for y'all, man. Stay tuned.